All right, welcome to Cooking with a Veteran, or if it's your first time, sorry, <laughs> welcome back to Cooking with Your Veteran, or if it's your first time, welcome to Cooking with a Veteran. I keep messing that up lately, I don't know why. Um, so here I am in my new studio, very exciting things going on. Almost done setting up the whole new studio. I got another piece that's gonna go behind me, it's gonna be great, waiting for my sign to come in. Can't wait for all that. Anyway. Let's get into today's episode. As always, before we get started, so all my brothers and sisters out there deployed overseas, wherever you are, know that we love you, we miss you, we're thinking about you, and we hope you come home safe soon. So today, um, I am doing some oven smoked ribs, okay? Uh, you know, I, I finishing up my uh, soup and stew book, that's going to be coming out. Hopefully by the end of the month here, I uh, got to set an office together and all the other good stuff. Um, working on my bacon book right now and working on a special uh, barbecue book because not every veteran has a backyard. Not every veteran has, um, you know, a smoker or or fancy grill or whatever else like that. You know, a lot of veterans I know live in apartments and so unless they go out somewhere to barbecue, they wanna know how can they barbecue in their own home. And so this is what these episodes are about. So I have my ribs. If you remember, I'm gonna take you over here for a moment. Um, I did my ribs in some of the Heath Riles, a peach rub and the coffee rub from my new sponsor and friends over there, Loco, Tennessee. Of course, I got my ribs from the Tennessee Meat Company. Some great ribs right here, okay? These are pork ribs. You can do this with any type of ribs you want. And you notice when I did the bison ribs, I did a an apple. With the pork ribs, I'm gonna do a peach, and I love a good mixture of peach and coffee. So what I have here, I have my Dutch oven. I put the parchment paper down, and if you remember, the parchment paper is so that the wood chips, when they heat up, don't stick to the bottom of the pan. I want an easy cleanup. Okay, the easier cleanup, the better. Um, so I put the parchment paper down just to make sure that they don't stick uh, to the pan. And then I can take another small piece of parchment paper here, okay? And I'm just gonna put this on top of the wood chips and I'm gonna poke some holes now you don't have to, you can, you know, you can easily put your meat directly on top of uh, the wood chips, that's up to you, okay, but I like to put the parchment paper so this way there's a separation there. And now I'm going to take my ribs, okay, I'm going to move the peach to the side, I'm going to take my ribs here, look at those gorgeous ribs, and they kind of bend a little bit, right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put them along the outside here. Actually, I should put the heavier side down. I'm going to put them along the outside here. I'm going to put my other ribs here. Again, heavier side down. I'm going to put these along the outside. Okay. I'm going to put some of my peaches here. Okay. Because what I want to create is... I'm going to, kind of like I did with the bison ribs, I'm going to create a kind of a vacuum uh, effect here in the middle. All right. And then I'm going to put my other ribs right there across the top. And then I'm going to stick it in the oven. Okay. 335 degrees. I'm going to stick it in for a half an hour. Um, see how they're doing. I'm going to flip them around. Okay, stick them in for another half an hour. See how they're doing. And I have the beer. Uh, I have some uh, black and tan, okay, from Yingling. I'm going to use that to make sure that my ribs, ribs don't dry out um, while I'm cooking them. And they should cook about, because it's in a Dutch oven, the heat is going to really uh, get in there and keep them going. 
they should cook about two and a half, three hours. All right. Now, if you wanted to, sometimes what I do is I might sear these up a little bit, kind of lock in that flavor, but you don't have to. All right. Again, very simple way to get great. This is a great way to get some smoke ribs right in your oven. Okay. The wood chips will smoke up these. I'm using the, uh, the Jack Daniels whiskey barrel chips. And the other great thing I love about using the Dutch oven is, you know, when you have a smoker, you constantly have to feed it, right, to make sure that it keeps. I don't have to do that, all right? A little bit of wood chips, put them in the bottom, and cover it up with my cover, and the Dutch oven will do the rest, all right? So I don't have to keep feeding it. I can just let it cook until the meat is done and tender. And you want the meat to be about... Uh, 160, 165 in the middle. Okay, beef ribs, you can go a little more rare, 140, 145. But for pork ribs, you want to make sure they're nice and cooked through, okay, about 160, 165. Um, or until they're just tender, you'll know. Like when, they, when you start seeing the bone, then they're done. All right, hope you enjoyed joining me on this episode of Cooking with a Veteran. Please make sure you like, share, and follow. And as always, if there's something you want to see me cook, or if you want to come on the show, reach out to me and let me know. And until next time, hoorah!